Wishbone. Wishbone Entertainment. You know, we try to pass on some of them morals, but some of that shit cannot be passed on because these young niggas ain't came up through the chain of command that we came up. And you gotta respect that. And at some point, I'm 45 years old right now. I might look 30 or something, you know what I mean? But, nigga, you gotta realize at some point, you gotta move out the way, nigga, and move out the way for the up and coming. These niggas got to govern they shit how they govern they shit, how we govern our shit when we was 30, when we was in our 20s. I can't be the OG nigga moving like I'm really, the, you can't be a shot caller ranked nigga moving like you are in the field nigga. You got to play your rank. You feel me? So some of them younger generation niggas, some niggas our age got to back up nigga. You can't get, you can't hate the game. You got to let the game play out how it go. You feel me? The game was like that for us, but the game is like that for them. So some of the shit, you know, a lot of motherfuckers get at me like, Shug, how you look at this? And these young niggas doing this and this, this and that and that. You know, bro, that's the game. Evolve with it or get the fuck out of it. Yeah. If you're not gonna evolve with it and you got a problem with how it's evolving, get the fuck out the way, my nigga. Right. You know, if you ain't got the win to keep running the race, sit down on the sidelines, nigga. <laughs> Cause some of these young niggas is winded up, nigga. Period. And if you ain't ready to move like that, nigga, get the fuck out the way. Cause you can't throw no flag like, oh, I was ready to fight that nigga on a one on one and he pulled out a gun. That's the game he play. Right. Yeah. You can't tell a shooter to fight if that's what he do. You feel me? Yeah. So, I mean, you know, but at the same time, if you a shooter, then best believe niggas gonna deal with you. Once it's known you a shooter, they gonna right. deal with you as a shooter. You, you might can't get no fight, because they know you a shooter. Yeah. So, ain't no, you, you, once you get your shooter stripes, you might as well hang up that fighting shit, because ain't nobody gonna fight you, because they feel if they lose, you gonna go to that gun, so they gonna try to beat you to the gun, bro. So, if that's what you want, if you a nigga, even if you a fighting nigga, and they know you a get off first, niggas gonna try to beat you to getting off. If I know you a fighting nigga, and I know if a nigga to talk, hey, poop, you right. get off on me, right. I know that's what you do, right. then I, why should I talk to you? Right, period. As soon as I feel it's a problem, I'm gonna take off. Right. So it's the same thing. You know, so, I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. It ain't even really crazy, it's just the evolution of the game. Right. And if you ain't really, a student of the game, then you're gonna get ran over by the game. Period. So, just to derail it a little bit from that, what does that T mean on your chest? What does that mean to you? You really gonna ask me that? Yeah, I'm a, I really I really want you to explain to the people nigga, what does that mean T to you. T can't, can't rep nothing but this, nigga. It's what it is. This is what it is. <laughs> it's what you it feel is. Me? You feel me now? If you wanna ask me, what this mean, you know, based on what this T mean for us, this, this is a culture started by, you know, this is a pill culture. It started by the culture of ecstasy pills. It started by, you know, ecstasy, the power of ecstasy pills took niggas that would not even dance in the motherfucking party. Niggas that are just gonna stand on the wall in the party ready to get at a bitch or fight. Nigga, this pills made niggas dance, made niggas, you know, open up niggas mental to other shit. The, the, the T represent that culture. The shit that'll make a nigga jump the fuck out of his car while his car is rolling and jump on the goddamn top and dance <laughs> and don't give a fuck and no, my car ain't finna wreck any shit. Yeah. And, and, and the same nigga that if I come outside and you leaning on my car, I'm ready to fight you, yeah. but I don't give a fuck about six niggas standing on the roof of my car while my car rolling, and I'm on the hood, and we gigging, yeah, nigga, whatever. It's a culture, you feel me? It's a specific point 
in time that we grew up in. You know what I mean? That I, I was blessed to be a part of. That a lot of people was blessed to be a part of. The Thea's culture, the hyphy culture, the, the whatever. Because it was a time where I was like, hyphy movement? Nigga, that ain't what we on. Right. Nigga, a movement could stop. But since that's what they named it, that's what it was labeled as, we could say the hyphy movement, the Thea's movement, whatever. That T represent what we, what we mean to that culture. Right. Because in plenty places, ecstasy, Thea's pills, whatever the fuck was called, whatever them niggas called it. Beans, pellets, Skittles, whatever the fuck they called them. But for little niggas called them thizzles. Thea's for show. You feel me? Right. And that was some Vallejo shit. And Dre got on that like, nigga, that's what I'm finna name my label. So it, 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 was, it was a Bay Area thing that Vallejo put they spin on that it took. And it was a big thing for Vallejo because it was the acceptance of Vallejo. It was a time when Vallejo wasn't even accepted into the Bay Area, bro. So it was like, the Bay Area was open arms to what Vallejo brought. So it was a big thing to us. And that's why we rep that T and that's what that T mean. You know, the, the T ain't just on no crest shit. Right. It's with the crest, what Vallejo bring to the, to the Bay Area movement. Because what we doing up under the T or up under the Thea's or whatever, ain't nothing different than what Oakland niggas doing when they get on. Right. Frisco niggas doing when they get on. Richmond niggas doing when they get on. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, it was a mutual respect thing. It was a at the round table thing. You feel me? And it was respected. That's why, you know, when Dre died and Kilo took hold to the wheel, he kept the movement going and broadened the movement to where it wasn't just the crest. It wasn't just Vallejo. You seen Frisco niggas with this. <clears throat> you seen Oakland niggas with this. <clears throat> Richmond niggas with this. <clears throat> niggas one mind. And I ain't gonna say with this because all of these niggas brought a different component to this to build what it was. You feel me? And that's what we was. Right. You feel me? That's what this represented. When this hit another city or whatever, when you seen them niggas coming, you ain't just seen Vallejo niggas coming, you seen Richmond, Oakland, Pittsburgh, nigga, uh, 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 Frisco, nigga, you seen one mob, nigga. I might don't even know what these Pittsburgh niggas that's here tonight then got into, but whatever they got into, I'm into. These Oakland niggas might don't even know what Doobie as a Vallejo nigga that got into tonight, but whatever I got into tonight, nigga, they into, nigga. And we moving one mile. That's what that team mean. Come on. You feel me? The unification of the Yeah, area. it was the Pledge of Allegiance to the mile. Come you on. feel me? It was a bigger thing. It was like when you go to the prison, nigga, and nigga get get get, get put on and learn about nigga this bank card, nigga. Mm -hmm. You feel me? This was a rap bank card, nigga. This what it is. Let alone you better not take us out of state. Oh gosh. You feel me? Sure. So I mean, that's what it means, and it's all still a representation and a respect to Mac Dre. Because it was Mac Dre vision. It was Mac Dre vision to build something for a Bay Area Bay Area legacy. You know what I mean? To be which what it is. Everybody know this dear shit is a legacy left by Mac Dre that niggas is Carrying on, you got sucker niggas try to carry on Mac Dre names, Cloud Chase and all that shit, the whatever, fuck them. We talking about far as niggas that really, really rep this deal shit. Not the niggas that, bro, what is he doing? He fucking it up. The real niggas that really like, you can see, bro, he really with the shit. Right. That's what he repping. That's why you see a difference between what he do right. and the next nigga do. Come what on. he do come from the heart right. because it's in him, right. not on him. Right. Hello. You feel me? Yeah. Another nigga could put this sweatshirt on and it's on him. A real nigga that T is in him. So he gonna rep it different. You feel me? So yeah. what this mean, and like from a nigga like me, like I told you, when I first met Mac Dre, it was like, who is this nigga? 
So to see a nigga that I met from, who is this nigga? So I'm rocking with this nigga and for this nigga like this and watch this nigga whole journey. You feel me? And was part of it, was willing to put my life on the line for it. Nigga, I died for this, nigga. Because I done been in situations where it might ain't, ain't even been a situation where I knew at that point in time, nigga, that I was willing to die for it. <coughs> but when you look back at the situation, <coughs> A situation that you done made your way out of, you didn't know going into that situation that you was putting yourself in a situation that you could die for. Mm -hmm. Nigga, the same way the night Drake died on some fear shit. He didn't know what he was putting himself in line for. Right. And he gave his life for this shit. And it was other niggas that could have been in that car, that could have died for this shit. You know what I mean? Right. Period. Even right now, every time a nigga go out, you ain't guaranteed to come home. Right. Right. But you ready to go. Jump on that stage. Mm -hmm. All that, nigga. Right. And you might get cooked. It might be some niggas that's fuck them bang niggas. Tonight they night. And you ain't worried about it. And I might don't even be tripping. It might be some simple shit that you got into. What? Oh, that nigga with us. Cutty, we moving. We we he not taking a loss while he with us tonight. Oh uh, yeah. And we might have just ran up against them niggas that cooked us. And you died. You feel me? This is shit that niggas put their they life on. Real life. soldier shit. You feel me? So I mean, you know, big ups to Mac Drake. You know, he he started this shit, and it's just. It's up to niggas like us, real niggas, to carry it on. But even it's not even so much carry it on. As a real nigga, you carry on your bloodline, what you doing. You feel me? It was a doobie before this. Doobie brought what he brought to this because Mac Dre was his partner. And I'm fucking with my partner. And based on my partner, this how far we gonna go with this. And even though he gone, I'm still going to push like he right here. How would he look at some of the shit that I do? That's why it's certain shit that I'm not going to do that. It's certain shit I don't give a fuck what another nigga do. He could do that. That's not going to be on my jacket. Right. I'm not finna snitch. I'm not finna fuck with no ops. And, 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 that, and even all that is bigger than Mac Dre. Go back to my mom and daddy. Nigga, my, I'm not putting that on my mom and daddy and my family and my bloodline. No. I ain't, we ain't on no punk shit. Nigga, I'll take a loss before I turn down a fade. Mm. You feel me? Yeah. Period. Whoop me, nigga. You gotta show me you can win. And I ain't scared to take a loss. Period. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that that's the real deal cloth that a real nigga come from and that's what we try to push through our music. And that's what we try to push through the alliances that we lock in with based on whoever we fuck with outside of an immediate circle. Because the immediate circle is tied into bloodline. You feel me? And anything I fuck with, me personally, anything I fuck with outside of bloodline, I gotta answer the bloodline while I'm fucking with it. If something go wrong with me, my mama gonna be like, why the fuck was you fucking with that nigga anyway? Right. Where you know him from? Mm -hmm. I don't know his mama. I don't know his daddy. He ain't from the crest. Where you know him from? Oh, that's one of your friends you found in 2013. <laughs> nigga, you better get washed, go to jail, whatever the fuck. You better put yours on the line for one of these niggas you know from 1986, <laughs> 1981. The fuck I know is mama, daddy, whatever the fuck. You run around here with this new ass nigga. What part of the game is that? How can you answer that? You feel me? So, even still, even if it is a nigga that I just met at this point in life, the, the, the structure that I'm gonna put him through before I classify him as a nigga that I really fuck with when I got day ones, I don't give a fuck if my day ones is goofballs. At least I know this is my goofball. 
I can fuck with this nigga and find out he a goofball now. And it might be more costly than the nigga that I knew was a goofball for the last 10, 12, 15 years. At least I know how to deal with him. Right, right. I'm thinking this nigga not no goofball and find out in the clutch. You feel me? So I mean, you know, it, it, like I said, that's why the, my new album is called Real Before Rap because, you know, rap is an illusion. I'm pretty sure plenty of people that watch rap right now, you done been in deal, dealing with rap long enough to see that 80% of rap is an illusion. Mm -hmm. You know, you got niggas rap this shooter shit and that ain't what he on. I mean, you know. Water, they fell out of the boat, man, you feel me? Takashi 6 9 Come on, right? Straight switching. You feel me? And that's a, just on some straight bullshit. And, and, and you, the cool part about just the culture today now is that motherfucker, he's gonna get out of jail, motherfucker's still gonna be kissing his ass. And you know why? Because even if the United States holding the code, he a snitch and we ain't fucking with him. London don't give a fuck about none of that. Yeah. Nigga, Japan don't give a fuck about mm -hmm. none of that. Overseas, that's why that nigga get a 10. How the fuck a nigga snitch and get a $10 million goddamn deal? And that's how you know the, the game is ass backward. Right. Yeah. It's ass So I understand what you in. So the, the, what would you tell like the uh, because you, like you said a lot of these motherfuckers don't understand that it, it, it's like a movie like it's not is it, like you said it's an illusion. What would you tell these artists like right now that that be mistaken, you know the the, the two worlds. You feel me? Like what kind of fucking? Quit thinking yeah. your mom and daddy is a square. You feel me? Because nine times out of ten your mom and the fruit don't fall too far from the tree. You feel me? That's My right. kids is gonna be bloodline a part of me and act like how I act. So the closest motherfucker to counsel them on how they act is me. Mm -hmm. Because how you act is a, is, is a branch off of me. And part of how you act is a part of me that I ain't even told you. It's just in you because it come from me. So I'm the only one, certain shit that my kids do, they mama, it might don't come from their mama. That's why they mama can't deal with it. Yeah. I can deal with it because it come from me. Yeah. Hold on, what? Baby mama called me, my kid doing whatever, what, 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 what? Let me talk to him, because that ain't even your field. That ain't what you do. <laughs> the kid didn't get that from you. Yeah. Let me deal with that. Yeah. You feel me? And when the parent try to guide the, 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 the child, it's because the parent didn't walk that walk, and they know where you finna go. And they know if you my bloodline, how you gonna deal with that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. From so my mama's side, I got a whole side of my family that don't do nothing half ass. If it's drugs, they go all the way. If it's whatever, they go all the way. So I know, as far as drugs, there's only certain drugs I could do because there's other shit that if I like it, yeah. I ain't gonna give a fuck what you talking about and I'm gonna go all the way. And going all the way on that drug, gonna fuck me up. Oh, for sure. So I gotta know where I came from to know where I'm going. Exactly. How to deal with them demons, you feel me? So right? what, what I would tell the younger culture, nigga, research is everything. I don't give a fuck if it's some gangster shit. It's the reason why they teach, teach you history in school. If you know your history, then you know your future. You know the mistakes that was made already, so you don't make them again. Okay. Being with a nigga like Mac Dre, every, Mac Dre is not God. Yeah. But being close enough to Mac Dre, I was close enough to Mac Dre to see what he did that was good and what he did that was mistakes. Yeah. And I should not make the same mistakes that my OG partner that showed me the game, I should not make the same mistakes as him. I should be able to learn from his mistakes. That's real shit. So, what I would tell the younger generation, learn from the older generation. If you see a motherfucker that glorified drugs and you can see that drugs was his downfall, don't let it be your downfall. If you see an older motherfucker that when he got his money, he went and bought cars and diamonds and all this shit and he ain't got no property, don't let that be your downfall. Learn from anything that you see so you don't have to physically go through that to learn that. You know, when, when I look at some of my uncles and shit, the going to prison shit, Instead of learning from it, I looked at that as nigga, nigga, I'm part of the game, nigga, yeah. my time gonna come and when my time come, I'm gonna eat that up and chew it out. Yeah. But my time didn't have to come on that if I didn't have that mentality. For sure. Now, if it just came and, you know, that, that's what you had to deal with, 
then you know that's what comes with the game. You got to deal with that. But learn, learn, learn. Uh, the worst thing in the world is a dumb nigga. The wor and the worst thing in the street is a dumb nigga. Because there ain't no books on this shit. Other shit is books on. You can go read a book on how to be some of these other shit that niggas is trying to be. You were in the street, nigga. Ain't no book for in the street. So you better learn from your OGs. You better sit and listen to some of these dope fiends that done been there. The nigga had money and now he a dope fiend. You better listen and figure out what the fuck his mistake was. A nigga that was on and now he's nothing. Nigga, don't think he nothing. Listen to that nigga. That's why God got the nigga still here to tell you. So, I mean, that's what it is. You feel me? Sure, sure. Yeah. Period. God ain't letting niggas make it through some of these wars for nothing. Right. You know, some of these niggas that made, like what the Cuddy say, he got sent to the pen and made it through the shit to tell me to take eight years. Now, why you think he said that? You feel me? Nigga, that was real shit. Even though I wasn't stupid, anybody was gonna have to tell me to take eight years when I looked at what the fuck they really talking about. Yeah, right. But he was there to assure, in case I was on some dumb shit, Cuddy, I think I could beat it. I ain't, they ain't got me on nothing. I seen the paperwork. This shit, I'm not finna go up against these people. Hell no. You feel me? Yeah, so yeah. I mean, if I'ma tell a young nigga anything, Nigga, listen and learn from what came before you because it came before you for a reason. The shit got put here before you for you to learn from it. Right. You feel me? Hell yeah. Um, I don't think I don't think I didn't give it. Uh, I got a chance to tell him I forgot. But Kilo, I'm going to just tell you. I'm going to give you the roses because I didn't get a chance to tell Kilo. You feel me? Even if it, Mac Dre was here, I would have said the same thing. But um, Y'all had a big impact on me coming up too when I'm listening to the music and shit. Cause like, you feel me? Me as a young nigga, I was feel me wild and shit. Y'all meant something to me, you feel me? I'm growing up, you feel me, in the, in the hood or whatever. That shit, y'all niggas, y'all music um, created some of the best times in my life, you feel me? Whether it be with my partners, my family. Every time I listen to certain music, bruh, I, I remember back in times, even when my kids <coughs> are not here no more, R.P. Mac Rick, you feel me? Free G Bundles. Like, my family, bro, like, I didn't have the greatest times off y'all music, you feel me? Like, that appreciate shit means it, something, like, for yeah, real, though, like, Cuddy, like, like, for real, bro. Like, I, like before I even met you, I felt like I knew you, you know what I mean? Like, you, is it, you probably hear that all the time, like, you nah, no, the reason music, why, you, you know why I can relate to that? Nigga, I've been through that. Right. I felt the same way. Nigga, uh, Ice Cube, a two, nigga, my first rap name was Ice Dude. <laughs> Jerry Curl and everything. Dude, Jerry Curl and everything, bro. For real. If you had Ice Cube sitting here, I would tell him and Easy E the same motherfucking thing. I would tell Too Short the same motherfucking thing. I would tell Scarface the same motherfucking thing. So I can relate to exact. I'm happy that I can touch a motherfucker life like yours, like the way the niggas who came before me touched my life. Yeah. The way a Ice Cube, a Too Short, a Easy E, a, a, a Scarface touched my life, bro. Right. I wouldn't rap the way I rap had not these niggas touched. I wouldn't move the way I move in the street. Had yeah. you know, and these is niggas I don't even know. I just know you through your music. Right. You feel me? So I feel you. I, I respect that. Yeah, for real. Hundred percent. Sugar Wolf and Brothers and Household Names the bro. old days. Hundred yeah, percent. That that album was classic. I remember. Bumping that at family parties, bro. A bunch of Mexican people slapping the sugar with fat. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know what I mean? And I am a hit with Mexican women. <laughs> you feel me? For real though, my nigga. For real though. Yeah, it's all real though. You feel me? What you think, what song was the most um, impactful or the most influential that you made? That you, you felt like that? Right now. That you moved? Right now. Ain't no smoking money. Well, I mean, you better not never say nothing else. Yeah. Yeah. I would have slapped your head. Yeah. I thought you were going to make up some robot shit that you made up in. Oh, in the fact. Oh, it came out that uh, in the love and money is my friend. That's all you got. I'd have been to shows, right? Ah. 
And don't smoke get money. And I, 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 was, I was a day before. I thought he was going to make up. Was, you heard it? You, you know the new you, song. You know, y'all just listen to it. I put the... Uh, I, you know what? I ain't never got off work right. at this time. And it'd be motherfuckers that at I my don't even job. got Indo Smoking Money on the show goddamn shit. They'll be like, do Indo Smoking Money. I'd be like, motherfucker, that shit. Oh, I'm trying to get all this new shit. <laughs> right. right. I, that shit ain't even on the show that. But what about Bootsy? I'm going to get it out the car. Right. 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 I'm saying, Indo Smoking Money is my. That, I went to jail on that. I said, you know what? <laughs> Duty made, Duty made that. Duty made that. I ain't gonna. Uh, they got me for nothing. What they get me? This is even <laughs> my section. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck they get shit. me? The crazy yeah. shit and no shit. A yeah. dose. Look. And these type of niggas I deal and, with. And if look, you can't deal with it. I want hang you to take it. Bitch. I want you to take it in small doses. Or that shit gonna prove lethal. You <laughs> old bitch. Narcotics. Small doses. Uh, or it's gonna prove lethal. Mm -hmm. You know what that means? Me? On the mob, bitch. Hell yeah. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. That's the I'm from the P. Bird, the bird is the other part of the V. Yes, I'm an OG from Vallejo. 1968, a cougar, a Mustang, a Falcon, Come on. A, a, a what you want, a Chevy? You better want huh? a Chevy. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Look, but I went cougar, Mustang, Falcon. I know you did, huh? but I'm, it's, I'm it's seeing now. I'm in the 60s. Yeah, I'm seeing now. Man, then the car, look, look, look you, you come here you up under the cut of yeah, Driving man. a car from the 70s. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and on the mob, look, look, look. Mob look, shot. Look, mob look, shot look, shot look how they did you. <laughs> Yeah, they, see, that's they, in San Francisco. We're gonna yeah, go look yeah. that up. We're gonna take that picture over because no. it's ratted out up in that jank. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's it's what, ratted, it's ratted that, 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 that's what you hmm. had to go through. It's ratted right infested. I get it's it out right of right. 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 it. Ah, it's ratted infested. Hey, like I say. Yeah, hey, that's nigga, why nigga, you, nigga, if you ain't never been through nothing, you ain't gonna be nothing. Hey, and if you don't go through nothing, nigga, you're gonna be worth shit. Come on, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. What I lack in and what I lack in personality, I, what I lack in substance, I make up for in personality. Therefore, I'm rich. And although I may not be enthused with last season's performance, as a wise guy, I know another season awaits. And with my new season, I plan to pursue the game with a passion unparalleled to anything ever displayed by Damn. mankind. And Damn. I plan to kick a bitch in the ass and never give a pass. <laughs> and don't pursue that to mankind. Yeah. Bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bitch. Hey, I told stories, man, and we out of here. Yarra. <laughs>